Hello, welcome back to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to see the security intelligence, the feature available on the access control policy. This feature is going to be your first line of defense on your network to prevent the bad guys away from your protected network with very less user intervention. Cisco with its huge amount of visibility on the network has categorized the both IPs and URLs available on the internet as bad guys and good guys. Let me show you. Cisco has already classified the both the IPs and URLs with based on their reputation they have categorized as uh, whitelist and black blacklist you can as you can see that there is a global blacklist which comprises of all the IPs which have been categorized as attackers uh, bo um, bogan IP botnet CNC exploit kits malware so um, similarly on the domain level uh, again Cisco has categorized into two category uh, one is whitelist which are uh, domains that you can trust and then access those domains and the uh, domains which have been categorized as a blacklisted where you didn't want your users to access so all you have to do is simply uh, put put those ips uh, which are cisco categorized as a good um, whitelist in the whitelist category and then the uh, ips and urls which are categorized as a, a blacklist put on uh, put them under uh, blacklist category and then when you turn on deploy this policy help helps your uh, users who unknowingly clicks and any url which are available on the email on or on the website which takes them to a bad sites could be a cnc site or a site which has a malware ftd will block the traffic um, based on the ip reputation let's do a demonstration here um, since this uh, FTD is in, in the lab network. I cannot really send a traffic to a uh, internet. So rather than I'm going to uh, use an uh, host and then put that uh, I host in the blacklist and then try to send the traffic and see uh, how it blocks. I have a host which is outside um, of the FTD. I'm going to add this um, host into the blacklist domain. So before deploying this policy to the device, let's verify from inside if I can access the outside host um, here is the IP address 192.160.10.10 I am trying to do a telnet 23389 that is RDP service port so as you could see that uh, I am able to do a telnet which means that the port is open let's quickly verify it on the connection event So you could see here uh, the traffic from 1610.10 to 192.160.10.10 has been allowed on port 3389. So now what I'm going to do is, um, as we have configured security intelligence with uh, blocking the or um, mark the 192.168.10.10 as uh, one of the bad uh, IP. Let's deploy this to the device and uh, do the same RDP test. So the deployment is successful. Uh, let's go and generate a traffic from the inside host. Um, as you could see that the it is not able to establish the connection as it was before the deployment. Uh, let's quickly go and verify it in under events. So you can see that um, the traffic from 1.16.10.10 to 192.16.10.10 has been blocked with the reason IP block um, which was allowed just before uh, before the deployment. Let's also verify under security intelligent events. So here also you can see that the traffic has been uh, blocked uh, based on the security intelligent events and then the IP 192.160.10.10 has been marked as a um, black icon which says that it has been blacked uh, because of IP reputations. So apart from this event you can also use um, cap capture trace um, 
tool to verify in order to access the capture tool verify you can go to the device device manager under the uh, click on the tools icon which is on, available on the extreme right mm, uh, you, uh, on the device which you want to diagnose click on advanced troubleshooting click uh, capture with trace So I'm going to create a new capture event or the capture policy. Name this event. So um, instead of saying any, I can, since I know the IP address, I can. So I'm going to specify this IP so that I can uh, filter the events that, filter the packets that I want and then specify as inside interface where I want to um, capture the packets. Run the pack packet capture and then uh, generate the traffic again. I have generated the traffic again. Let me pass this capture and see if any pack packet is captured. That is a true packet capture. Let's try to diagnose that. On the first packet, which is a traffic generated from 172.16.10.10 to 192.160.10.10 and on port 3389. So the phase one is a packet capture event, second is phase two access list, which says allowed. Phase three is a forward lookup, which is again allowed. And phase four, it is snot and says that action is drop. Reason the snot verdict as blacklisted black um, and because of blacklist ip it's got blocked so you know that uh, in case in your network if you find somebody says that their traffic is blocked you you know if you find that's not verdict uh, this um, as blacklist you know which policy has been uh, blocking the traffic with this, uh, we have come to the end of this uh, video, which talks about security intelligence. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, the DNS policy. See you. Bye-bye.